So every day you guys ask me on my live streams what are my post FX settings. It is very easy to show you and you can copy these settings if you like. But in reality the visual clarity that I see you won't get in your games. As a matter of fact go on and copy any streamers post effects and it won't be as good because everyone is running different monitors and unless you don't tune your post effects with respect to your own monitors these dark areas will remain unseen forever. So let me show you how to set these post effects settings specifically for your monitor. Now before we begin just take a screenshot of your current post effects settings and your nvidia color settings cause we are gonna be changing these and it would be easy for you to go back in case this does not work for you which is highly unlikely but just to be safe just do it now turn your post effects off and set your nvidia color settings to default now first thing you need to do is go into an offline raid on interchange and go to the furniture store next to the texo once you're at this spot open your nvidia control panel under the display settings go to adjust desktop color settings now if your game is in borderless mode you should be able to see your game behind the nvidia settings now tarkov is kind of too dark indoors so the first thing we are going to do is fix indoor darkness and that is by increasing gamma you want to increase gamma to a point where the indoor feels bright enough to a comfortable level now start increasing contrast so that the white tint of high gamma disappears and the difference between dark and bright places is clearly visible Overdoing gamma and contrast will make your game look unrealistic but increase the visibility in dark places. Play around with these two settings till you reach a comfortable point between the unrealistic graphics and visibility. Next since stock of colors are washed out we are going to do is increase digital vibrance. Now increase digital vibrance such that the colors start to look more alive and realistic. Click on apply and you can close the nvidia control panel now. Now open your post FX settings in game and click on enable and visualize. You won't be changing brightness and saturation because we have already fixed these settings through nvidia control panel. For clarity I go for 100% because it helps distinguish between different objects. Colorfulness we already set through nvidia control panel but now if you are using painkiller 100% of the time in your raids up this to 100% so that it cancels the painkiller color wash effect. Luma Sharpen and Adaptive Sharpen is a personal preference. They sharpen effects. Play with the slider if you like. I keep Luma Sharpen at 100 and Adaptive Sharpen at 0. Now for color grading we are going to go with Montreal as it adds a red tint effect and lightens up the dark indoor areas. For intensity again play with the slider. Don't increase it too much or your game looks all red. Slightly increase so that you get a contrast in the dark areas. That is all for this video. I'm going to quickly show you my graphic settings because I know a lot of you are going to ask for this. So here is it anyways. Make sure you leave a comment and like the video if this was helpful. Thanks for watching and until next time.